Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. Today I'm gonna be doing a full face using only e.l.f. makeup. I wanna do just really pretty glowy soft glam. I did this look last week because I was filming some other content and I loved the way it turned out. It lasted beautifully throughout the day. And you guys know I love e.l.f. So I figured let's just play with some e.l.f. makeup, chit chat and just hang out and have some girl time. So make sure you guys grab a snack, get cozy or grab your makeup and your brushes so we can get ready together and let's get into it. Brows are done are primed. I have my little elf eye tapes. You guys told me that you can actually get makeup tape at Sephora. So if you're looking for something like this, Sephora has you covered. I think it's from the Sephora collection. So this is the easiest eyeshadow look ever. And I'm just going to be using these two bite-sized palettes. So this one is the cream and sugar palette. I love this one. I'm probably just going to use like one or two shades in here. And then the truffles palette is another one of my favorites. I specifically love this palette for the black in here. It is so intense. So with these two palettes, I'm going to start with this color up here and a little bit of this brown. I'm going to mix those two and I'm pretty much just going to work those all over the lid and in my crease. I love these little palettes. Ever since they came out, they have always been in rotation. They're such nice quality and the fact that they are under $5, you just cannot beat it. So I'm just working that color and I am going to build it up. I'm pretty much just gonna do browns on my lid and in my crease and then add a little bit of black to smoke it out and that is it. And then I'll just add some glitter, but it's a super simple look. Come on, tape, there we go. I put on some eye cream, so that's why it's kind of coming off. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this brown and I'm actually just gonna put that on my lid. It is raining right now and it's so therapeutic doing my makeup to the sound of the rain. Now I'm gonna take the Bite Size Face Duo, and this one is in the shade White Peach. I'm gonna use this later on as my blush, but I'm actually gonna use the blush and put a little bit in my crease, just to bring out some of those warm peachy tones. And later on, I'm gonna do like a peachy nude lip and cheek. So this is just gonna kind of tie everything together. Now I'm gonna take the black and I'm gonna do a little smoky winged liner. You guys already know, this is my favorite thing to do with black eyeshadow. And if you've never tried it, try it. It's so pretty and smoky and it just elevates your makeup look. So I'm gonna just take this on an angled brush and I like to just follow along the edge of the tape super easy when you have tape because you don't have to be precise at all. This is one of the best black eyeshadows at the drugstore. It's amazing. This palette is worth getting just for the black alone, even if you don't use the other eyeshadows, but I do because I love these other three as well, but the black in here is incredible. So I like to take a rounded pointy brush and just blend out that black a little bit. To do this, sometimes I will go back in with a little bit more eyeshadow, the black or even the brown, and then I just drag it right along that eyeshadow. These are really pigmented, so I don't recommend doing a lot of the eyeshadow because this can get very smoky very quick. And if it ever looks a little bit too smoky, I will go back in with the brown and kind of just go over the eyeshadow a little bit to tone it down because I don't want it to be too black, but I definitely want it to be kind of diffused around the edges like that. This is one of my favorite looks to do as well, like the eyes. I just feel so pretty. And this is one of those makeup looks that is gonna work with anything. No matter what outfit you're wearing, no matter what you're doing, it's just a good soft glam. Adding a little bit more of that blush as well on the lid area and in my crease. It's also gonna just help me to diffuse out some of that black literally the best part about doing that is taking off the tape. We're gonna add some glitter. I'm using the liquid glitter eyeshadow. So typically with this, and by the way, this one's in Flirty Birdie, which is my favorite color out of all of them that they have. This one is so pretty. So instead of applying this directly onto my lids, which I do love that look as well, but I'm gonna just take my brush and very lightly dab the glitter onto the brush and then pat it on my lid for a bit of a softer look. And I'm just gonna press it on my lid. Look how pretty. And these are great because you can get that really nice glitter moment without a ton of fallout on your face. That's why these are my favorite. And you don't even have to use any glitter glue. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply the e.l.f. Big Mood. This is the waterproof version, which I prefer over the original. Honestly, this will hold a curl and make your lashes so incredibly long. And I love that it actually is waterproof. So it won't smudge, it won't smear. It's a really great formula. I just put on some lashes. I used the Kiss Pixie lashes. And I think these are perfect for soft 
off glam. If you want something even shorter and a little bit more natural, kiss number 11s, they're the best. Now it is time for skin prep. I'm gonna use the Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. This is amazing. Definitely a good dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter 24 seven spray. And this is one of those setting sprays at the drugstore that's just like the Milani Make It Last where it actually works. You can notice a difference. And I always say setting spray before primers, before anything else, cause it's just gonna make everything stick so much better. And it's a nice little boost of hydration before you start all the prep. Now this is my very extra skin prep, but it really works at making your makeup last all day. I still swear by it. Setting spray and then these two products. I'm gonna start with the Suntouchable Woe Glow. I have like a tiny bit of this left and I actually had bought another one and I don't know where I put it. So I'm gonna use whatever is left of this. It is amazing, super hydrating and glowy. I love this under makeup. It's the perfect base. I'm gonna just rub this in with a brush. This brush will be available in a few months. It's from Anissa Beauty, but I just love love rubbing this in because the product is a little bit thicker so I think it blends a little bit better with a brush. I do think this is a dupe for the Super Goop SPF but I also really do like the Super Goop. I feel like the tint is slightly different. This one is a little bit lighter when you apply it whereas the Super Goop has a bit of a neutral kind of tint but they're both going to give you that healthy kind of glow and hydrate your skin. So they're nice before makeup. I love them both. And then Power Grip Niacinamide. If you have more dry skin, I recommend the one with niacinamide. When I first tested this product out, I didn't really think that it was that much different to the original Power Grip, but I do find this one to be a bit more hydrating because of that niacinamide in there, but the original Power Grip will work just fine. But I love this because it gives me that tacky finish. So it's gonna make my makeup last and products are just gonna stick so much better over top. So I put this everywhere. I did this combo the other day and I was like, wow, this looks amazing. So I'm gonna start with the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is going to pretty much just enhance my natural skin and give me a bit more of a glow, but this is also gonna give you a very light, minimal coverage. So it just does a nice job at evening out your skin tone. And I'm gonna use a darker color today in shade four medium because the foundation that I have is a bit too light for me. It's the Flawless Satin Foundation, another one of my favorites. This is under $10 and it performs like a high-end foundation. Foundation. This one I have in the color buff and it's a little bit too light. So I'm gonna just do a little concoction here to make it work. Trust the process. Also used this the other day under my House Labs foundation and it looked so good. So I think in general, this is just a nice tint under a lot of different foundations if you like a glowy finish. And what I love about the skin prep and even the Halo Glow Liquid Filter is that the products, they're glowy, but they don't feel greasy on the skin. It doesn't feel like I have a bunch of oily products on my face. It just gives you such a pretty glow, but it still feels nice. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Flawless Finish Foundation. If you have not tried this, highly recommend. It's literally $6. It has great coverage. It lasts really well. I've actually had this in rotation for years and it's just a really good foundation and I like to kind of just rub it in with my fingers especially since this is a little bit too light just so it meshes with the liquid filter underneath nice coverage too I've worn this before in the heat while working out and it lasts really nicely especially with the skin prep it's not going anywhere I also love this satin finish that it has Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer, of course. This one I have in Light Sand. I love how full coverage this is. Just gonna do a little bit. This color might be a little bit too light. Such a good formula. A little bit goes a long way too. I used to use so much concealer, especially if you're using a brush. This is the Angled Concealer Brush from Anissa Beauty. And I feel like with this, I honestly, even this is too much product, but you can use the tiniest bit of concealer and this is just gonna give you such a nice full coverage look. If you wanna tone this down a little bit or if you have a concealer that's a a bit too thick maybe going in with a sponge might be better because that will kind of thin out the product and just sheer it out a bit more but with a brush you're definitely going to get more full coverage i'm going to go in with the halo glow beauty wands i've been loving these they're super similar to the milani liquid contours i think that's why i love them so much i feel like the formula is almost identical i'm going to use the shade light medium and medium tan super blendable it just gives the perfect wash of color. I like the putty bronzers as well, but I think I might like these even a little bit more. I'm just gonna add some of the darker color around this area here. I'm gonna add some blush. I'm gonna use the Luminous Putty Blushes. These are still by far, I think, my favorite blushes from e.l.f. And I have the color Isla de Sol, which is a pretty orange. 
I love the original putty bronzers as well. If you like more of a matte blush, you will love those. The blush is gorgeous, I love it. Super wearable, but you can also build it up if you want to amp up the color. Now I am gonna set everything with the Halo Glow setting powder. This one is in light pink. One of the best loose setting powders at the drugstore, hands down. I love the Halo Glow powder puff, also from e.l.f. It is so nice for powder under the eyes. And with the Halo Glow powder, it's nice because it sets your makeup and gives you the prettiest natural fit finish while still adding a bit of glow, but it doesn't look like too much, you know? It doesn't have any glitter or anything in it, but it's not a totally matte powder. It's just really pretty. I love it on the under eyes because it also gives a bit of a bright touch. And I will sometimes take this same powder and kind of just go right around my t-zone i'm gonna use a different powder to set the rest of my makeup nyx can't stop won't stop mattifying powder is the best but elf i would love a halo glow pressed powder that would be incredible like maybe eight shades and in a pressed powder form that would be stunning but in the meantime i'm gonna use this one from nyx again i love it because i'm able to still get that glow but when i mix glowy and matte products it just gives me that perfect combo and i think a good powder is key especially if you are using so many glowy products underneath even if you have a super dry skin i always recommend doing just a light dusting of powder i will even go under my eyes just a little bit for the inner corners i'm going to use that shimmery light color from the cream and sugar palette spray the brush and i'm just going to pop that right in here i love a good inner corner highlight sometimes i forget to do this and i i don't know i just love that little touch you know then i'm just gonna add mascara to my lower lashes sometimes i do nude or black eyeliner but i think today i'm just gonna leave the under eyes blank i'm gonna add a little bit more blush definitely not necessary but i love the combination of the luminous putty blush with this white peach face duo if you love peach orangey blushes this is a must now for the spring and summertime but it looks really really good over top of that luminous blush I'm also going to mix in a little bit of the highlighter so that it almost looks like a baked blush when you mix the two and it gives a light glow. Like, are you kidding me? That's the most perfect peachy cheek. I'm obsessed. Now we're going to do a little lip combo and this is so good and it matches perfectly with this entire moment. I'm going to start with the triangle lip liner in the shade light brown. And I am going to fill in the outer edges of my lips. This is a summer must-have. Elf Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Hustle. You need it, especially with a good brown lip liner. This is gonna work on so many different skin tones and it is gonna be the perfect addition for the summertime when we do those peachy, warm, glam looks. This is gonna be the It Girl lipstick. So I'm just gonna put that right in the center. And then I feather in more of the lip liner to make it all kind of just come together and look really seamless. And I'm gonna add a little Peach Bellini Lip Plumping Gloss. I go way back with these. Definitely a must have also for any nude lip. This is just a pretty little addition. And in every e.l.f. video, I have to also give an honorable mention to the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. If you love a good, dewy, long-lasting setting spray, this one is it. It gives you the perfect amount of dewiness without making your face feel oily. So you know what? I'm going to use a little bit of the dewy one today, and I'm going to top it off with the Stay All Night Microfine Mist, which this definitely has a little bit more of that mattifying feel to it, whereas this one is definitely dewy. Also smells like summer. So good. Kind of smells like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So if you don't like that, you probably won't like the smell of this. It's not too strong. It goes away, but it's really nice. Now this is the key. After you set your makeup, let it dry and then go back in with either a powder brush or your little powder puff, whatever you prefer, and just go back over wherever you want to really smooth everything out. It's just one of those like final touch things you don't really need to add any extra powder you can use whatever is left over on your puff or again you can even go back in with your brush and just do a very light little dusting over your makeup or wherever you want to just keep it super smooth and whenever i do this i feel like my makeup is just plastered onto my face even more especially after the setting spray 
it's key so try it out but this is gonna be the go-to glam for me this summer i love it i feel so pretty in this look i love all the tones the colors the products and this is a glowy makeup look but it's actually very long lasting and you could always swap out some of the glowy primers for something a little bit more matte that'll work with your skin so instead of using the woe glow if you have very oily skin maybe go in with the putty primer and then follow up with the power grip that's another good combo and this is all elf makeup so you really cannot go wrong great quality affordable this look is gonna look so good on everybody so try it out let me know what you think check the description box also for all the links and details if you're interested thank you guys so much for being here and i'll see you very soon in my next one bye